Hi, it's Charlie Davis again, davisimages.com. And if you watch my other video on transferring a sketch of this kitten that I did onto um, watercolor paper, which is, this is a five by seven. Uh, easy enough, you can print this off your your printer at home, eight and a half by 11, it's big, no big deal. Then you just trim and do the transfer that I showed you. Now. You may be wondering, hey, that's all fine and dandy, but I've got a painting I have to do that's larger than eight and a half by 11. All right, this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. This is a, a client uh, painting I'll be working on, a sketch that I've got and it's approved, but it's going on to a 11 by 16 sheet of paper. And you're probably going, okay, great. How's that going to happen? So what I do is I'll take my sketch, whether I've done it on a sketch pad or in Photoshop uh, or on my phone, which I've used my phone and handy stylus. Uh, I'll bring it into Photoshop regardless. So in Photoshop, I have templates designed for the varying sizes that I work on so that I can take my sketch and adjust them, scale them up or down to fit within the template and the final output. So I did the same thing with my kitten. I have a five by seven transfer uh, template rather that I will as again position this sketch within that, which is why these borders are here. Uh, and then I know that when I print it out and put it onto my five by seven, in this case, it fits perfectly within that. So that's another video that you would have seen. I'll link that if you want to see it. Uh, so anyway, go back to we get a larger piece of paper. You have a sketch. This is printed on 8.5 by 11 just to show you the full uh, final piece within Photoshop and how it will look when I transfer it down here onto the paper. So what to do? Um, again, I have a template. I size it up. In this case, I have to print it out three times in order to get it to fit properly. These, you'll see here, this solid white is a border. Down in the bottom, same thing. You can see a bit of a border. Um, and over here as well, you can see the border coming right across on the side. Uh, so <clears throat> what you do is you print out the three, you move it around in your printer to print and then you trim as you need to. I have below here a trim pad, self-healing cutting mat that I use in conjunction with my Charette 18 inch guard ruler, which I've had this since college. It saves my fingers. Basically you take what you need to cut or trim line it up and you'll see that it will protect your fingers so if you're cutting along and then oops skip up which you can see these lines here I've done that before so this is a nice tool I've had for years using a nice sharp exacto blade anyway let's get back to trimming so I trimmed out what I needed here's my sheet of paper again that's the main part, the bottom, and the back. And again, ending where I need it to go. So then you take your tape. I've got a cool little chameleon dispenser. Pull off the pieces that you need. And in this case, I'm going to have these smaller pieces go underneath. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to take the tape, flip the paper, put the sticky side facing up so that I can line this up where I need to. That's also where this comes in handy, having this smaller printout. You can see where it needs to line up. And this lines up right about here you can see everything 
falls into place and once you got it you just push down on the back side there you go same thing for this back end so just take your tape put it on the back sticky side up position the top piece over I just realized I didn't trim that out but that's okay it's not a big deal I'm human so you just line everything up and once you got it lined up you press down if you really wanted to secure everything you can you know put a couple extra pieces of tape there you're gonna be drawing over this anyway you'll see that in my transfer video which again I will link to that this was mainly to show you how you would go about transferring a larger sketch onto a larger piece of paper using your eight and a half by eleven printer if you don't have anything that will print larger like eleven by seventeen which would be great that's my next investment so anyway then you just basically line it up and go through the transfer process hope that was helpful thanks talk to you later